to you. To you. <laughs> I'll send it back inside to you, Steve. All right, this is the Joseph A. Furco String Band. Captain Anthony Salenza and Furco is toy riffing. performance mm -hmm. it was who it, wouldn't want Furco string band in their toy box well, that is you. absolutely marvelous great it, job captain anthony salenza from the slinky to the play-doh characters to the accordion solo jake this, just outstanding this band has been first in music playing for four years in a row 
but they haven't won. So they wanted to improve their music effect and their visual, which is part of the costumes. They did. I've never seen costumes as good as this. And all those old 1950s toys, the, the Green Army Men, I remember having them as a kid. And, and the Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head at the end, and the Tinker Toy Suits. Just a phenomenal performance. And as usual, they play beautifully, so they'll probably be first in music playing again. And yeah, like, and uh, like, let me just introduce you before you start talking. <laughs> this is former Quaker City captain and, and head of the Mummers Association. He's the boss of bosses in, in all of, of Mummery, Mr. Bob Shannon. I call him Mr. Ambassador. Uh, thanks for coming in. Charlene uh, went on down to the Pennsylvania Convention Center. As we look back at the performance now, why don't you give us your thoughts on what you've just seen from Furco? Outstanding. Uh, they, they, they do the little things and they, they make them right. Uh, they are the winningest string band ever. Uh, I think they've won 20 times or something like that out of all those times. But uh, they they just get the he they get everything and they put it everything right. Musically and costuming this year was really good. Uh, it, it was so, so much, again, yeah. movement that made sense and yeah. it was fun and it's how you would play it in your room if you had all those toys. You're right. <laughs> and you didn't was, have all those toys? I didn't have all those toys. <laughs> but, but the thing is, <laughs> I, I like to interject a little bit of... Uh, homeland thing. Uh, my my niece, Maggie Shannon, and Sean uh, Slavinsky have just got engaged, and I, you know, I'm the one to tell, tell everybody somebody's getting engaged. But they they were engaged this year, and uh, I wish them all the luck in the world. My my daughter, my daughter uh, Danielle just got married too, and uh, Eric Eric and Danielle just it's just been outstanding. This year has just been a great year. Well, congratulations. We have a lot more to come. We'll talk more about what we've seen because the judges are now going to look at these first five performances, which were stellar and outstanding. And I've been getting tweets and texts and messages from people that say that this one, like Polish American, for example, or Furco was outstanding and they're number one or they're in the top three or they're this. And it's very hard to discern amongst the ones we've the seen. Judges have never had, I've never had five bands this good marching in the first five. And it's been over 20 years since any band marching in the first five won the parade. So Last it's quite time, a challenge for the judges. Quite a challenge. They're reassessing right now. We're going to take a quick break. Log on to PHL17.com starting at 5 tonight. Always a beautiful sight looking down Broad Street as we see what's coming up the street, in this case the string bands, one behind the other. There are 17 in all, and we've seen five of them so far. Then, of course, later on this evening you'll see the Fancy Brigade finale. But as it stretches down South Philadelphia, what history is there? Since 1901, 114th official parade, although two years, 34, 1919, there wasn't an official parade for different reasons. And then before that, all the neighborhood history of Mummery that goes on. The string bands kind of trace themselves. There are people who say they have little signs of them in the late 1800s and such, but obviously it was the 1900s as right. they really took off and developed. Bob Shannon of Quaker City String Band is here. Jay Cart, our resident expert, Avalon String Band, is here. Your impressions of what you've seen in the first five, Bob? Well, I was, uh, I was sitting back and uh, relaxing, and I was blown away. I really was blown away. Uh, the, little, the little things that they do, they do right. Mm -hmm. And uh, musically, exactly, exactly what you said. They, they're the strongest first five ever. And but by the way, we have a lot of contestants for our Custard's Last Stand Award. Some have already been there, <laughs> like It's Snow Time for Polish American, and uh, uh, Furco is Toyrific. They're one of the contenders. We'll hold that for a second. Yeah. I have to go out to Melissa McGee right now. Hey, Melissa. Hey there, Steve. That's right. We are with the Furco String Band, and I have the band captain. This is uh, Anthony Salenzo. You have been with the band for 40 years, the captain since 2009. Toys, toys, toys. Tell me about the performance. Toys, toys, toys. A uh, childhood dream. We uh, did everything of the iconic toys, Raggedy Ann, Toy Soldiers. We had the Spacemen, and of course, the Monopoly Man. Uh, we had a blast doing it, and it was great crowds all the way up the street, and uh, sounds like the crowd loved it. And I'm ready to play Monopoly. There you go. Thank you there so you much. There you go. Happy